Hi, it's Saturday, so it is menu planning day, and um, I don't know when I'm going grocery shopping, but it's for a good reason this time. Um, my husband was able to get off today, Saturday, and tomorrow. He was able to rearrange his assistant schedule. And so last minute, we decided today we will be celebrating Mother's Day belated. And um, tomorrow we're going to do some tasks around the house that we've been putting off. And um, I'd rather celebrate Mother's Day and do some stuff around the house than go grocery shopping. So we'll do grocery shopping Monday or Tuesday, and that's okay. <laughs> Uh, tomorrow I'll probably do a recap of our little Mother's Day. It's super simple and that is a-okay. Um, but my husband and kids have gone out to get a surprise dessert for us, for my mom and I. And um, we're having Taco Bell for dinner. <laughs> um, we're not fancy people. And um, that's where we're going to use the money I saved up for our Mother's Day meal. Um, I gave my mom some choices of what was around here and she was like, ooh, Taco Bell. <laughs> and um, I'm excited because my son ordered some stuff and um, some of it is just gonna have lettuce on it and that's okay because he's more than willing to try it and that is super unusual. And even if he doesn't like it, he's making an effort to try it. Um, and that's a big step. And um, my daughter is excited to try, you know, loaded nacho fries. Oh, my dryer is beeping in the background. Um, so yeah, Taco Bell. We're not fancy people, but we make it a special experience nonetheless. But enough about all that. You're here to hear what we're having for dinner this week. Um, we have two carryover meals. One is the Crock-Pot Mediterranean Chicken Couscous Bowls. This is, I think, week two for that. And um, sandwich melts, chips, and fruit. Those are getting carried over. Um, I'm getting really, really diligent about our leftovers and eating it all up and not leaving anything for waste. And that really gets us by and lets us roll over meals. And so those are the two rollovers. And let me think of what is new. <laughs> Okay, my mom requested Crock-Pot Hawaiian meatballs with white rice and um, corn pasta salad, which I'm gonna wing. I don't, I can't find the ingredients to make like Mexican street corn. So I'm gonna have to wing something and that's fine. I'm all for working with what we have. And um, the last thing is, if I'm counting correctly, it's macaroni and cheese loaf with roasted zucchini and carrots because I have some leftover zucchini I want to use up. I always have carrots on hand. That's just a given. And we have mac and cheese and I have frozen um, diced ham. And it's a fun recipe because you literally make the mac and cheese and ham in a bread loaf. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's a fun, it feels very like nostalgic, like, you know, from the 1950s. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's everything. Let me do a double check. Yes, that's everything with the two nights of leftovers, which is turning into more than two nights of leftovers. And we're pretty happy about that. So yeah. Okay, that's it from here. Um, I hope you're doing well. What are you having for dinner this upcoming week? Anything new? Anything tried and true? Um, yeah. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you're having a good weekend. I'm hopeful that this weekend continues to be a good one. And I hope it's recharging for my husband as he goes into a new week because it was a pretty rough week this last week. Um, so yeah. I hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.